guys, here's Madame OK. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being a part of it. If you enjoy watching the videos, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe as well as to hit the like button. Thank you so much and see you soon. Bye. guys, here's Madame OK. Today I will be teaching you how to use palette knife to paint a beautiful cityscape. As you can see, we use watercolor paper. You can um, help yourself with canvas. I think that would be even better option. Um, let us start with the street and it will be in one point perspective. Um, we'll create first building that will come uh, quite tall side here and we will need to have so we will have one wall that will face us and then we'll have side of the buildings and I'm creating a very elegant line here diagonal on which I will um, create different buildings the most important is the first building here because it gives us the feel that the wall is facing us and again creating one point perspective Okay, so I think we have plenty of buildings. I just have to make sure that the distance here is equal. Ooh la la, it's not. So I have to really go back here and really bring those lines. Fantastic, so we have plenty of information, time to paint. And now we'll start from the sky. And the sky is definitely blue. So I have my white, definitely the blue. And I have another one, kind of greenish blue, which I will use in the second. Ooh, my color gets great, a little bit gray. Fast, fast, fast. Oh, oh, because I have a black here, I didn't notice. Ooh la la. Good. Okay, so the colors will be here. Notice that I will create those nice islands. Oh, a little bit brighter. I will still change it. I just wanted to get rid of this really very gray, big gray color. So definitely with palette knife, we are coming to the sides. So I want to bring some other colors into my painting and I definitely want to bring some purple. So you see the purple, it's coming. Ooh la la, will look so good. And uh, just a little bit for the change. And of course, yellow is coming there as well. Still a little bit more. And actually, you know what, since we are here, I will introduce also this crazy color and this kind of greenish. Mm -hmm. Very good. So now it's time to work on our buildings. And we have to decide for the side. So again, the wall that faces us will be on the more orangey yellow color, uh, colors. Um, and this wall, the one that has shadow, will be more of the bluish one. So we will continue with our blue. But this time, what I want to get, I want to get more of my crazy, the, this kind of greenish color even. So, um, here I'm coming. And let me find out, so this whole wall, okay. Now the color has to be different, so definitely we'll go with this color. You see, like this, like this. Actually, I can put even later the windows. I will decide later on. Okay, so this is good. And then I have to look, okay, the same. This wall has to be of the same kind of com color combination. So we apply it as a main color and then we will develop it. So you see here and there. And the same on this wall. Okay, we can't forget that this wall requires the same kind of treatment. It's in the shadow, so that means we need to have it darker. The other section now that I have as the cover, and I will use for it yellow, yellow ochre, and a little bit of red, is the section of the wall that is facing me. Okay. 
Now we will work a little bit on the roofs and I think I want to have a really bright, beautiful red. So this will be one of them. And I want to continue on the tower here. Then I'm looking at what's going on and I think I can help myself with a little bit of orange color here. And that's really presenting this edge of the building. And the same will be on this one. And then I have to have the edge. So I have to create the, to show the roof and there's usually the top that extends a little bit the positioning of the walls. Mm -hmm. My now nice chimney will come here yeah, and I have to get a couple of walls so maybe I will need to use later on the brush that's okay right now you see I have some of those colors applied and I need to have that as we have it blue on this side very good then I can apply some of the other colors into my windows right away then I can play with the colors and then we can work with let's see what we have here we have this wall and we need to put some windows here as well so even this window I need some colors and I will need to have blue first on the edge and then I can introduce some other colors into it So we're creating the bases. I have the colors which I have. Later on I can decide which colors will I need for refinement. But at this stage, this is perfect. This is perfect. I don't need anything else. You see this building is coming here. I need to have some other colors to really emphasize. See, oh my goodness, my paper is floating. But this is a different plane. And I have this blue color, but I need to have it lighter. Let's see which color will I have now. And actually, that's not bad. So you see, it's very rich. We have lots of different colors here. Beautiful yellow here. And I want to go with this color around this section. So I can also just take white and blend it into this arch around the building like this I can do very much to the same to oh, to a little bit more here mm -hmm. and then a little bit of this color has to be also visible the roof. I think that this color can also show better side of the chimney. Some of the I like this. So you can see how, how rich it becomes. Now we have the green and brown that I want to introduce in sections. 
You see, the windows, we still need lighter colors, but I think the paint has to dry a little bit before we will do it. Now, this window has to be a little bit bigger one. This one has to finish somewhere. Yeah, and so will be this one. Now I want to go and create the windows in the space. Yeah. So I'm mixing brown and black for the windows. I'm just showing that something is there. Okay, I have cayenne, which I think would look very well in our painting. And I will introduce it now in section two yeah, and blend it. Notice I still use the same palette knife because I think I can actually. I, you get accustomed after a while of using something and it's very hard to then to move to another tool. So this one will go down. See? And I certainly want to have it there. Okay, so this is going quite well. Now we need to really use a smaller brush, a uh, smaller brush. We need to still use, work with palette knife, but I think we have to really concentrate on some details and bringing some light into our painting. Okay, I need some red with my windows. This will be okay. Definitely here. I need to have a little bit more of the order, as you can see. The red will do it. Fantastic. Now we bring some yellow into the windows. I mix the, my yellow with some white because otherwise I won't get enough opacity in the color. So that means it won't have the coverage. This will be okay, this will be okay. I like the passages of light using, let's see. I can put those beautiful colors here. I need to have now the roof and I need to have this section here. So I'm putting some white, pure white. You see, just really to make the distinct difference between one section and another. The same, this doesn't work so well. So I have to go back and this a kind of tower here that I have to bring to the building. I just want to put some of those nice colors for the windows, really blue, like here and there, just that we will feel what is where. And we can scrape to give the shape, like this, wow, that's good. And then definitely darker here with some of the beautiful blue. And then if we want to, we can bring some of the lighter colors inside. So this section definitely will need more work. 
just a little bit more see when I'm there and I certainly want to have some lighter colors definitely will need to come and recreate the sky but let me just put some of those colors still back because I really like those colors here and I like this blackish color you see here and there just to be a little bit bolder with paint application right we should be not afraid we just should put the colors so that we can see the things the way we want so I'm going with more paint and then I can scrape into it you see if I want to recreate certain lines look at this what is going on whoa so much and this we have those darker colors see we have quite a bit of colors here and quite a happy painting so let's see when we go there and then we have to come with some white on the top and mingle it into the color like this fantastic so i want to come with some uh, with some white in some places See? what it does it blends into the colors and create the effect that there's lots of action going on so i still want to use red like this now just the sky because the sky is still not perfect so we need to think how we will resolve our sky we have this lovely white and then I blend some other colors into it including the this lovely color you can bring some of this color here and there to brighten our painting white with a little bit of yellow then I get the color that I want I can see specifically there can introduce it a little bit especially right there see just not too much this is the trick okay so for now we'll leave it and I want to recreate certain certain positioning for certain lines like this one is okay but it needs to be better shaped right so for example this color will be okay but it's too yellow as such so I'm getting a little bit of white with the color and notice what's happening right away the shape looks different now my windows are very heavy but it doesn't bother me I just need to have a little bit more of this crazy ready and then some the colors this is okay because we need to have on this side here colors this will be okay too so when you look it's good now so I have my orange color and I want to come and with the orange color I want to some of those shapes bring back this, that. I don't want to be super precise but for certain like for example here I do need to be this one is okay but I have to continue with it as a building and then this one will be okay as such I need to come here and I need to bring some of those lines back and I also can help myself and bring some black there's nothing wrong with using black as long as you don't use a huge amount so I have my purple color and I will go with him still a little bit in this building I think I need to because there's not enough variety here something like this Going down.
you guys, I'm looking at this painting and I still believe that I have to have the sky a little bit lighter on one side. So I will take white and you know what, with this white I just bring it in some sections on my painting. See, I have my new palette knife and I'm just blending the color. I just need to mingle my white or blend it into some of those colors by enriching the painting. So that's that's what I want to have here, you see, just a little bit, making the painting, the whole painting a little bit crazy. First, I thought it would be better to have a little bit smoother background, but I don't think it just works all over like this. It has to be a little bit, uh, a little bit enriched. And again, not everywhere, but I think especially this section is super important to have a little bit more of action going on. And I think that will be then finished. And I'm quite happy with the painting. So I hope you enjoyed the process with uh, working on this painting with me. And now you are ready to paint your own. Have a good day.